Hi everyone, my name is Austin Rios. I'm a senior biochemistry major at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm really excited to share that I was recently admitted to medical school and I'll be starting uh, this August and of 2022. Uh, I knew early on that I wanted to become a doctor because I saw a lot of the health disparities that my own family and my community suffered through growing up. Um, so becoming a doctor is something that's really important to me. Um, so I think one of the things that a lot of pre-meds think about when they're in college is the MCAT. It's that one test that everybody knows they have to take in order to get into medical school. In undergrad, I was able to read my professor's notes, PowerPoints, and sometimes if I didn't understand a concept through those two means, I would go to my textbook and do fairly well on my exams and quizzes. Um, and I think that was a common thing that I did throughout my undergraduate career. And I think a lot of people also can say something similar. Maybe it takes an exam or a quiz or two to figure out how your professor likes to ask questions. And by the second or third one, you get the pace of it and you're able to move on quickly and succeed in the course. The MCAT exam, however, is different because it requires you to do a bit more than just know the content and be able to answer questions back again. You need to be able to use your critical thinking skills and apply the concepts and skills that you've learned to solve problems. That is a skill that I don't think I had developed while I was in college. So I'd, I had taken the MCAT twice. Uh, I think the first time when I review and I think back to that, I was using a very passive way of learning. So for example, I reviewed for hours and hours. I read the textbooks um, that would help me prepare for the MCAT. I would read a chapter on circuits and physics one day. And then the next day I would try and read about solutions and chemistry. Um, but after my first attempt of the exam that wasn't as successful that I wanted to be, uh, I had to reevaluate the ways that I needed to go about learning this material and being able to apply and answer questions on the MCAT. Um, so my first attempt was that I was very passive in the way I learned and uh, approached my, my problem solving skills in a way. And I thought I always was a really good learner when it comes to watching videos and uh, answering questions right after that. And someone had recommended to me that I look up Khan Academy. And I had heard about them back in high school because I think they were someone, they were a, a website that helped me a lot in, in high school, but I didn't know that they had an MCAT course. So when I found that they had an MCAT course, I was really blown away by the incredible and vast amount of resources that were on that page. Um, the course, the website made it easy for me to find content that was in digestible pieces that allowed me to review concepts that I might have forgotten. And then I could then go solve practice problems related to that skill or concept later on. And the best part of it too was that Khan Academy already has questions built into their videos. If you want to test yourself and see how much knowledge you already have coming into this, um, this video, or right after it, there is a section have some questions that you can review afterwards away. So when I look back I'm taking the MCAT twice, I went from a passive learning style to an active learning style where I was now watching videos, reviewing content from skills, but supplementing that with practice problems that Khan Academy had available for me. Um, and I think another thing that I have to acknowledge throughout my MCAT studying process was that studying for the MCAT can be a pretty lonely experience. Um, not very many people know what that's like um, the pre-med community, although you may be at your school surrounded by people who have common interests as you, um, studying for the MCAT is not something that everyone outside of school does or knows about. So I think it's very important that you find wellness and well-being while you're also studying for the MCAT. Uh, the Khan Academy MCAT course is massive. I recommend that you use this uh, as a reference guide to help you reinforce specific topics you may need to review or as a starting point to help you review concepts before the exam. So all in all, studying for the MCAT is a long and daunting process, but I believe that having the Khan Academy resource was an invaluable source. Uh, being able to watch videos on repeat if you had to was extraordinary. And I don't know how different my, my, my second attempt would have been without it. So I highly recommend that everyone at least give Khan Academy a shot. There's so much good stuff on there. And I can't imagine, again, like I said, um, my second attempt without it. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video for uh, today. Uh, I hope that it was beneficial and that you found something that resonates with you that you'll be able to carry on when you study for the MCAT on your attempt. Good luck. I know you can do it. Stay strong. 
once you get the MCAT done, I promise it just gets better from there.